What's up everybody? My name is Sam. Um, I run All In Media on both TikTok and Instagram and Samuel Bennett on YouTube. I've decided I want to branch out into more longer form content and what that kind of means is I'm going to start doing unboxing, reviews, even if it's older stuff, just to get stuff out there. Full disclosure, this is my third time filming it because I messed up the first two times. So, let's kind of get started. So, this is a review slash unboxing of the Grills 2.0. I haven't used it yet um, on the field, but I'll kind of show you that and then show you comparison to the previous grill, the 1.0. So without further ado, let's get to it. So this is the grill 2.0. This is the box it will come in. We'll put it down over here because I got a little overhead view right here as well. This is the box, nothing special. It's a box. It's a good box, but it's, it's a box. This is the grill, we're gonna take that out, put it to the side because there are other things in the box that, you know, you should know about. First thing, manual, throw it away. Most of you don't need it. For those of you that do, sure, read it, but pretty much everything I'm gonna be telling you right now. So, it does come with a visor. This is pretty cool. Um, it does have push pins instead of the, the slits with the O-rings on it. So, it's pretty cool. Gives it a nice, mean look. It does also come with a bag. Now, uh, compared to the previous bags, this is amazing. Um, I, I don't use bags like this for travel or anything like that. I generally uh, have like a mask bag or anything, or uh, one of those hard cases, but it is still a very good bag. So, let's show you all that. Now, to the grills, which is what obviously everyone's here for. This is them, okay? Um, they're really nice. Uh, sorry, I, I, I said I've said it three times now, so it's a little weird. So these are them. Right now they only have color black. These emblems, from what I've been able to hear, um, they will be replaceable and uh, you know interchangeable with maybe different colors down the line, or I don't know if, if GI is gonna do like custom teams. I don't know, but they are interchangeable, which is really cool. The chin strap, Looks like it attaches to these, so it would appear, you know, based on the outside, again, I had, I'm, I'm not dug deeper in or anything. Um, based on the outside, if these break or get lost, you can buy new ones of these and get new ones on there rather than just being out of luck, which is pretty cool. So, it does use the old, the same exact uh, lenses as the old grills, which is really nice for those of you that have 40, 50 lenses like I used to. Um, and that's really nice. Same way of taking it out, for those of you that don't know, I'll show you. There are little tabs here that he's kind of pushed. Don't mind me, I'm gonna struggle on camera. I'm gonna actually take it off camera to do it. Gosh. This one. And you do that on both sides. Now, it is pretty cool, there's a little holder there that allows you to uh, not lose it, which is nice. Same thing, take that out, boom. Other side, boom, just like that. And then, kinda grab the lens, both sides, pop it out, boom, it's out. Now, something that is really cool with this, with this goggles, these goggles, um, I really enjoy this. If the foam, gets damaged or gets old or, you know, just anything that comes natural. Boom, it's out. It's easy to put it back in. There are little slots. You can see them right now. Kind of just pop them in. Yeah. It's relatively easy. I usually start from the center and work my way out because the center is like a retaining tab whereas everything else is kind of, you know, just holds it there uh, or keeps it in place. Um, I'm gonna put this all back together. Obviously, putting it back together, the same exact thing as uh, taking it apart, just opposite. Put the lens in, pop it into both sides and make sure it's through all the way. Grab the, the lens clips, make sure they're on the right side like I just didn't do. Pop them in, both sides, and then just take this and pop it in. Now, Again, for those of you that are familiar with this, this is nothing new. 
This is the same, uh, virtually the same system as before, just new and improved. So, now that's in all the way. These soft ears, um, they remind me heavily of E-Flexes. They aren't um, as soft as those were, and they're also not as big, but they are nice. They help reduce echo. Now, let me show a close up of that right there. Those are the soft ears. Now, I'm gonna put these on. Um, don't mind how goofy I look because of the no, no wrap or anything like that. So. so, this is from the front. You can see it's a little bit, a little bit of a mean look. Um, feels like the, the front is actually a little bit more protruded and then the side, it's a little bit more cleaner cut it feels like, kind of just like contouring to my face, which is nicer. The flexed bottoms feel slightly flexier, flexier than the uh, original grills, which is always nice because I love flexes to death, but um, getting shot sucks in flexes if you get shot in the face, which happens to me a lot as a photographer slash uh, learning videographer. So it is nice to have a little bit tougher bottoms. Now, for those of you that don't care about the original grill comparison, this is where I'm gonna end it. Um, for those of you that do care, I do have the original grills here. Now don't mind how uh, destroyed they are because I don't take care of my stuff very well. Again, same system to take out the lenses. There's lens clip, lens clip, you know, pull them both out and then you get the lens out. That's easy. The differences you could see are the side, is a bit more lower, there's no soft ears, and the front's a bit wider too, you can kind of see it. It's not, not the most, but it is a bit wider. Something I really enjoy about the grills too, that the grills ones don't have, is that, that um, the, <laughs> the foam changing system. Because these ones, if they break, you have to replace this entire inner frame, which can first get costly, but it also, it's kind of just a pain. You have to take out the lens, you have to take out the sides, everything. Um, and someone like me who, you know, I'm, in the, I'm on the field for eight hours, 10 hours plus a day, getting that, getting that foam, you know, removed if it gets bad or starts, you know, not retaining sweat anymore, it, it's hard. So getting that new foam like that, it's gonna be so nice. Um, I didn't notice this before, but I just noticed now, it looks like these, um, clips for the the straps are also the same way. However, I do know that they didn't have replacement V-Force emblems, whereas these ones are, so it does look like it's still the same concept. So, side by side, that's what they look like from the front and from the side. So, if you enjoyed this, you guys know the deal. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps. Um, and let me know what you'd like to see next. I'd like to continue going with this, so. Thank you everyone and hope you have a great rest of your day.